Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about this one thing that affects our self-image, our confidence, our self-belief, our dream. It affects us tremendously, yet we are largely unaware of. I see it almost on a daily basis where perfectly capable people are not reaching their full potential because of this. And equally, I've seen the power that we all have to change it. If this is your topic, please stay until the end because we're going to be talking about how to eliminate. So here it comes. Where does it all come from? It comes from the fact that our words have power. Our words matter. And yet, we use them so casually. We use them so casually. We don't think about it. We just say, ah, oh, it's a story of my life. This always happens to me. Typical. And those are the ones that we use like daily basis. What about, I'm not good enough. Others are better than me. I'm too young, I'm too old, I'm too... I don't have the right skills. I don't have enough resources. I don't deserve to be happy. <sighs> this critical self-talk is about the worst thing we can do to ourselves. The phrases we repeat often become our automatic thoughts. Our automatic thoughts have a tendency to bury themselves into our subconscious where we become less aware of them but they form our beliefs and you know what happens with beliefs we create from them everything we have and everything we don't have comes from our beliefs so you see the problem so let's make a commitment today to change this okay so here it goes how you do it two things first and by far the most important become aware that you're doing it Catch yourself standing in front of the mirror. I have wrinkles. I have chubby arms. No, catch yourself doing it and stop. Just stop, please, just stop. Number two, replace it with positive self-talk. Now you're gonna say, yeah, easier said than done, but hear me out because this is something that I've seen work in practice all the time. In fact, I use it in my courses. Instead of going from I'm not good enough to affirming, I'm good enough. The problem with going from I'm not good enough to I'm good enough. If you do this kind of affirmation, what happens often is it falls flat on its face. Why? Because you simply don't believe it. It's just too much of a gap. Your words are going like, yep, I'm good enough. And your subconscious is going like, nope, I know that's not true. I know that's not true. So instead of doing that, what you do is going from I'm not good enough to I'm good at this one thing. I'm good at cooking. I'm good at being a friend. I'm a good co-worker. You see what's happening here is you're building one step at a time and each one of these steps, you believe it, right? You can believe you're good at one thing or two or three. You just can't jump from not being good enough to being good enough. You build your self-confidence. You build your self-talk until you reach your goal. Remember, every word you say to yourself can feel like a hug or like a stab. It's your choice and you have a choice. You have a choice. Even when you're having a really shitty day, you can say to yourself, yeah, I'm having a really bad day, but I'm still a good person. Let me know how you find it. Is this helpful to you? Please let me know. These are the early days of my channel. Any comment, suggestion, question means a lot to me. I'm making this content to serve you guys, so please let me know what you think. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Click, 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 click. Please subscribe. Thank you.